Hey, Blake. Welcome to 15 Minute Fundamentals. Thanks for doing this. Thanks a lot, Oscar. Happy to be here. Uh, before we dive in, could you just give us a quick intro to Goldfinch Finance? Yeah. So Goldfinch is a credit protocol built on Ethereum. We make real world loans to real businesses all over the world. We have, uh, already have loans in 28 countries, over $100 million in active loans. And we are really excited about this. Um, this, is lo- this is yield that is uncorrelated with the rest of the crypto market. So it's a really unique offering in the space. And um, we think this is going to be you know, the future of DeFi because we're actually accessing the real economy, which is just such a, a massive market. Sure. And, and you're working with under collateralized lending. So what would you say is like your unique approach to that market compared to uh, other similar protocols? Yeah. So a couple things. So one, I, w- I wouldn't, wouldn't say it's un- under collateralized. All the loans actually are secure. They're collateralized by off-chain assets, income, and reputation. So it, it is, it's different from Compound or Aave, which is always over collateralized with these on-chain liquid assets. Uh, our loans are instead secured uh, and they are collateralized by off-chain assets and income. And so one of the things that makes us different is, you know, a lot of other protocols in the space, they might make loans to market makers or traders, other people who are very much doing crypto things. And so those loans, still correlate with the rest of the crypto markets. They go up when things go up and down when things go down. Um, But we are doing real world businesses. So we work with customers uh, all over the world, 28 different countries, places like Kenya, Nigeria, India, Mexico, Singapore, Thailand. And they are fintech businesses. So they, the fintech lenders themselves, you can think of Goldfinch like a wholesale lender. And so uh, the borrowers will borrow money from Goldfinch, say maybe 5 million, 10 million at a time, but then they make smaller loans to individuals and small businesses throughout the world. And they use technology in some way to have an edge in their lending. One example is a company called Pedro, who does smartphone financing in Mexico. They you know, let someone take the phone with no money down. The person pays the phone back over two years. And if they don't pay, Pedro has special software on the phone that will shut down the phone. And so people really want their phone to work. And so the repayment rates are great. So that's just one example of the types of borrowers who are using Goldfinch to access this brand new capital market of DeFi that can go anywhere in the world. This is a huge pain point for them. They Sometimes these businesses are spending 50% of their time trying to raise capital despite having really strong track records and businesses. And this is... Um, this is something that's thus really exciting for them because they just don't have the same level of access that a lot of Western markets do. So they're willing to use new stuff like crypto because it's really important to them and it really helps grow their business. 